Well, here we are again. As uh, as Ben is drawn to my videos, I'm drawn to his. Um, I've had this week off. I've been doing some work around the house, so uh, I've been uh, listening to this as you would a radio while I'm doing some stuff. I haven't uh, listened or listened to or watched all of it, but uh, I thought this was quite. Uh, because this is six hours and seventeen minutes long. Good heavens! But I thought this was uh, this was worth a this this was worth a mention. I don't know. I, I probably won't make a sort of reply video as such, but. I might comment on a couple of things, and uh, I thought this was uh, I thought this was quite <laughs> quite good, quite quite, quite funny. Steve Mumbling says on Truth Seekers Northeast Five. Um, just in case there's anyone out there thinking John Hutchison has any credibility, nutty is our fruit cake. He's got a link here. It's probably one of his videos. Oh no, it's. What is this? <laughs> Carla Nipshin, 2016. What? <laughs> what is, what the hell is this? <laughs> it's some kind of transsexual. It's all with a red dress. <laughs> what? <coughs> this, is, this is your 9-11 your, your um, <laughs> directed energy weapon hero, uh, Ben. This is John Hutchison. The directed energy weapon that was used in uh, on the uh, in the in the nine eleven attacks was based on a free energy device, the Hutchison effect. Remember, John Hutchison. You're looking at John Hutchison. What the hell is this, Steve? What are you what? Someone called Colin Nipson. <coughs> oh God, here we go. Buster King says. Okay, so um. <clears throat> Uh, ben didn't actually, uh, yeah, it, it didn't seem to me he was going to look at this. So I've left a, uh, I left a comment below Ben's video, his comments 23 video, saying this is Carla Nipshin. Carla Nipshin is in fact John Hutchison, and uh, a link to, you know, a couple of videos. And uh, let's just have a look at, uh, let's just have a look at one of them here. Now this is, um, this is. Uh, where are we? Let's get that up there. Full size. This is from uh, Jesse Ventura's um, conspiracy theory series, where he talks to John Hutchison. I like Jesse Ventura. He doesn't muck around, does he? I saw him actually um, interviewing um, David Icke, and uh, Jesse Ventura was actually shaking. You could see he was physically shaking. I thought, any minute now, you could tell he just had no time for Ike at all. Any minute now, Jesse Ventura is going to put his arm up Ike's backside, grab hold of his tongue, and turn him inside out. And I was really disappointed when that didn't happen. <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, yes, I uh, quite enjoyed uh, Jesse, uh, Jesse Ventura's uh, conspiracy theory uh, series. Now, um... This is, he's just uh, interviewing John Hutchison here. Uh, what's, on, what's on the big screen here? Oh, this is um, Air Crash Investigations, the uh, Tenerife Air Crash. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm, uh, I digress. That just caught my attention on those gauges for a second there. Right. To avoid a fate, so many could not. Sudden death. How do you think you survived? Come on, read me, would you? Now, the audio on this particular video is not very loud, but Jesse Ventura said to him, how do you think you survived? You know, because being involved in free energy, they say people, people that dabble with free energy get bumped off so the secret doesn't get out. John Hutchison said, because I'm a raving lunatic. Um, you can rewind that and replay it if you like. Because I'm a raving a lunatic. Shall I do that? Because I'm a raving lunatic. 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 Because I'
somewhere out there in regards to John Hutchison doing his strange experiments again. Do you fear for your life today? No. No, we're, Why? we're crazy. Uh, there's uh, a couple of men in, in white coats. Yeah, uh, there certainly should be. <laughs> oh, hello. How are you doing today? Fine. 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 What do you guys want? This can be the Lucy There we are, John Hutchison, the free energy the free energy hero. <laughs> Ben, Ben Evelyn Jones is free energy hero. John Hutchison. Uh, directed energy weapon that brought down the 9-11 towers was based on the Hutchison effect. <laughs> and, uh, he does, uh, John Hutchison does actually have uh, a whole channel. That's uh, Car Carla Nipshin. Uh, where is it? It seems to have disappeared. Uh, let's just go to uh, another another um, uh, John Hutchison thing and that is this I noticed this the other day and uh, this is John Hutchison's ray gun this is a uh, John Hutchison shows Russ around the lab and his 25 foot ray gun which he describes as being omnidirectional not much of a ray gun then really is it but uh, if you look at this <laughs> <laughs> his description of course is drivel and if you look at this he's got a spring he's got a, got a spring <laughs> he's got a spring around here and he's got another spring around here this is all meaningless this is all meaningless rubbish of course this is nothing more than a prop the sort of thing you'd see in a sort of 1950s science fiction movie movie and uh, i use the word movie because uh Ben mentioned the uh, uh, using the word movie or using the move uh, the word film. Now, um, movie these days is more appropriate, isn't it? So it's moving vision movie, whereas film is long gone, isn't it? Films aren't films anymore. They're all they're all digital files. If you go to the cinema and watch a movie, it's not celluloid film running through a projector. Um, but uh, I digress. Let's just have a quick look at this. <laughs> <laughs> some, sort of, some, some sort of bowl for cooking, probably. He sounds really switched on, doesn't he? Sharp as a razor, this guy. Are you using those for tuning? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> And he's got a cathode ray tube with the screen bolted to a piece of aluminium. <laughs> this is first order magnitude rubbish. Nothing more than a load of old junk conched together uh, like it would be as a movie prop, something like that. It's probably for trying to drag in some investment money, maybe. What it isn't, of course, is a ray gun. And uh, I actually left a comment here. Now I haven't used one of my other accounts to see if this comment is still there because you know if you if someone deletes your comment or uh, blocks you um, you can still see your comment but no one else can so I need to log in with another one of my accounts to see if this is this comment is still there but uh, just a load of old junk coached together as a prop to pull in some investment money I'm doing them I'm doing Ben Emblin Jones's Steve mumbling voice absolute rubbish let's uh, throw that one in there for professor fez okay so <laughs> i think uh, i think it's pretty safe to put a line through anything put a line through john hutchison and anything he has to say i i, re I really do i mean that's just it's just uh, garbage for um it's just garbage for trying to suck in some investment money i think now uh oh yeah i think this is um this is Hutchison's Carla channel. Now uh, it's a shame Ben didn't look at this really. Carla Nipton. And you can see Carla there with her, all, all her old junk that she's salvaged. Now let's see what we've got here. Oh, 
Well, I've uh, I've seen enough. Uh, I suspect, I strongly suspect, uh, you have too. So there we go. That's John Hutchison, Carla Nipton, <laughs> and supposedly the directed energy weapon that uh, brought down the 9/11 twin towers was based on the Hutchison effect, free energy, uh, free energy, uh, John Hutchison uh, effect, free energy device. So uh, there you go. You can decide for yourself how much credibility you want to give to John Hutchison. Uh, what else we got here now? Uh, Oh yeah, this is uh, this is one of my videos. Now, um, I was surprised to hear the mention of black goo. Now, this black goo thing I thought had died in the derriere. Now, this is one of my videos. Uh, sentient black goo. And this is by Steve Mumbling. But look at that. Can you believe? 55,163 views. Are there really that many people that seriously believe this sentient, sentient black goo out there? Is there really? Can, I think this is probably my most watched video. So I won't leave a link to it below, but if you just put in the if you just put in the uh, um, the search YouTube search bar, you know, sentient black goo. Steve Mumbling. So that's uh, December the 23rd, 2017, so to 2018. So that's about a year and a half. And that video has had 55,163 views. Isn't that amazing? Sentient black goo. And uh, this is just a, uh, a pee-taking video, of course. I don't know if you've watched it, but uh, this is just me. I ordered some uh, sentient black goo on eBay and um, I thought I'd test it to see if it really was sentient. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> and what else was there? There was a mention of, oh yeah, the free energy. Now, this is another one of my videos. I did a video, this is a Steve Mumbling free energy video. There's me, the mad professor. Mad Professor hairstyle there. People are far less interested in free energy. Yeah, patented, patented free energy device from Mumbling Merchandising. And uh, that's had 161 views. So <laughs> Black Goo, 55,000 views. And that's quite an impressive, I think this is quite an impressive plasma ball, this one. Uh, probably cost me about 40 bucks. Um, <laughs> And when did I publish that? Uh, when did I publish that? Oh, April the 1st. There we go. <laughs> April the 1st, 2018. So about a year ago. And that one's had 161 views. So people far less interested in, in free energy than they are in uh, um, black goo. Uh, I'm sure that uh, people like Miles Johnson and uh, Ben Emlyn Jones, well, probably Miles Johnson actually, I don't think Ben Emlyn Jones is particularly interested in it, but uh, will we'll, uh, pay particular interest uh, to that and probably start bringing out and uh, re revitalising or regurgitating some black goo videos simply to get the views up. I mean, if that was monetized, yes, if this video was uh, monetized. Um, it would get, I think you get uh, $3 per thousand views of a single advert. So with one, one advert, <clears throat> one advert, uh, oh, sorry, the, <laughs> yeah, not this one. The, uh, the black goo one, 55,000 views. If that was, uh, if that was monetized, I think you get $3 per thousand views. So 55,000 divided by a thousand is 55 multiplied by three is 165 i would have got 165 dollars for that uh, for running one ad on that <clears throat> video about the black goo the one with the 55,000 views so um it's not easy making a living out of youtube it's, it's a good job i'm not trying to do it it's only a bit of fun for me as you've uh, probably already gathered you won't, don't see any ads on this channel um uh, <laughs> Now, just as an aside with regard to the free energy, hang on, let's just have a get, get a better look at this handsome devil. Um, <clears throat> just as an aside, 
A few years back, might, might be 10 years ago now, one of my work colleagues was very into uh, free energy and um, he was a bit of a name in free energy circles. I'm not going to I'm not going to mention the name, but he showed me a video of a device that he said he was convinced was the genuine article. Now, I looked at it and I said there's no such thing as free energy. There's going to be a logic, you know, there's going to be a down to earth way <laughs> that uh, you know complies with physics that uh, this is using. And um I said, what's this little black box? And he said, oh, that's just the control circuitry. I said, well, how long does this run for? And he said, oh, it'll only run for about 45 minutes. Then the reaction runs away and it has to cool down. I said, well, there's batteries in the black box, isn't there? And he went, no, 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 this is the real thing. And uh, <laughs> anyway, um, he said, uh, he said, I can arrange a demonstration for you, if you like. This was a couple of days later. He said, I, I can arrange, arrange a demonstration for you, if you like, but you have to sign a non-disclosure agreement if you want to see this thing operating. And I said, uh, would I be allowed to inspect it? Would I be allowed... Uh, huh, just, had, uh, just got a comment. Would I be allowed to... Um, inspect it when i be allowed to look inside the little black box I mean, oh no no you won't be, won't be allowed to inspect it i said well then i'm not going to see anything different to what i've seen on the video am i it's a it's a fraud mate it's a uh, it's a fake i said i could build something that could would look exactly the same as that and do exactly what that does and uh you know i think at a certain angle it was supposed to take energy from the earth's magnetic field or some bloody nonsense and uh, he said, well, if you can do that, if you can build me one, I'll give you $10,000 for it. <laughs> and I said, OK, well, you put $10,000 in an escrow account and I'll make you one. And he went, oh, no, you know me, I'm good for it. I knew him all right. It was a, uh, a, a grade one bullshitter. And uh, he no more had ten thousand dollars than uh, than I could fly to the moon with something I made in the garden shed. So uh, the question, of course, is you know <clears throat> he's a proponent of free energy. He's telling me these devices are real. Why is he prepared to pay ten thousand dollars for a fake free energy device? Something you can stand in front of a crowd and say, here you go, you took this at a certain angle and the bulb lights up and, you know, it's taking taking energy from the zero point or whatever it was. Um, <laughs> what would be his end game of doing that with a fake free energy device that he has uh, paid $10,000 for? <laughs> sort of gives the game away a bit, doesn't it? So whenever you see any of this free energy stuff, you know, on YouTube or anywhere else, it's nonsense. There's no such thing as free energy. Um, and uh, if you see these people um, uh, saying all they need is you know research and development money, it's a con. They're after your money, and you, you'll never ever see it again. And you'll never you'll never ever see a free energy device. Just ask them if they if they pay electricity bills. Is their house running on free energy? Yeah. <laughs> free energy is science fiction that is the truth of the matter um, now was there something else I was going to say about free energy free energy uh, no I think uh, I think that's uh, I think that sums it up really so uh, just think about that for a bit you know Someone who's a bit of a name in the free energy game offered me $10,000 to build them a device that looked, appeared to be a free energy device, but wasn't, of course. It was, a, it was a fraud. It was a fake. He just wanted that as a prop to entice people into handing over investment money. Um, he would have considered his $10,000 an investment <laughs> had he had $10,000. Um, I didn't. Uh, I didn't refuse to do it on the grounds of, uh, you know, uh, morality. Um, I think if people want to believe that, 
bullshit that's entirely up to them but uh, I refused to do it because I knew he didn't have as we say in Australia a brass razoo let alone ten thousand dollars if he'd have paid me ten thousand dollars in advance I would have built him one of these gizmos and the big videos of it all over YouTube and uh, he'd be scrounging for development money that's what would have happened there anyway that's just a parting shot with regard free energy uh, Thanks for watching if you made it all this far through the video and uh, you never know if I don't uh, if I don't get bored with this stuff or uh, or get cleaned up by some big piece of machinery I might uh, might catch you again